functions. All right, show all necessary information. Use the GDC to find your intersection points. So all we have to use here is our graphing calculator. Sweet, all right, so if we go over to our graphing calculator, Put in the two equations. Right, which we can all do. And then we're going to graph it. All right, so whenever we do this, it's always important that we draw Let me a drag it oops. over here. Here, yep. you can drag it over. Okay. You can write on it then. Draw a sketch. And here we just drug, drew, or drug it over. Drug it over? Oh, Dragged I see what over. you're going to do. But anyways, that's fine. Um, no, because they're going to want to, let's show them the draw, draw the sketch. Okay. Let's get rid, let's delete that. And you, let's. All right. So. As we're going through this, we should always make sure that we draw an accurate sketch here. Because if we're going to get full credit for any graphing calculator, we have to make sure that we're labeling everything clearly. So our first function, let's do this one, 3x plus 2. If it's plus 2, and as we look over here, we know that the y-intercept is 2. Yep. And it's a positive slope, so the curve is going to look something like this. Now, we need to label that curve. Y equals its line. I'm so used to seeing curves. Well, your line looks like a bit of a curve there, I'm going to oh, say. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Here we go. And then we have to do the other one, too. Now, some of the key points on the other one are we can see the x-intercepts as being 3 and negative 2 on that okay, one. Okay, 1, 2, 3, and negative 2, 1. On the other side, yep, 2. Negative 2. Yep. Okay, what about our vertex? We can find that really quick from using the knowledge that we learned in class. Right. It's, that's our maximum value. So if we go over to the calculator and just... We can go second calc. calc. Maximum value number four. Skip up to the right curve. All right, so that's when it's the, uh, talking about the curves. We have to make sure we choose the correct one. And that's arrow up or down. All right, so Y2. So left bound, let's make sure where it's left of it, right, right of it, I'll just type in two, I could toggle over there as well, and I'll guess around zero. So a vertex is about one half and 6.25. Right, and I think the calculator is just not very smart, I think it's exactly one half. Yeah. Because if we do the average of those two, we're going to get one half. Okay, so if we go over here, now back to this, hello. Okay, so we're at one half and 6.25. And we can label that point one half, 6.25. And then we can draw since we have. Now I know Mr. Robs is going <laughs> to give me a hard time about this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. But you will know that she's always doing the writing because mine's even worse than this, so I shouldn't really give her that hard of a time. But so I, here's what we're looking for. Those two points. Okay, so let's go over to our, our calculator then and just ask the calculator to do the work for us. So if we go calculate the intersection, which is number five, first curve is the line, that works. Second curve is the parabola. And we're going to guess, it looks to me to be about two. Okay. So we'll just type in two. And I get that. 1.236068. So the three significant figures, 1.24. All right, and 5.71. Okay, and we do the other one, same idea. We go our intersect, which is number five, first curve, the second curve, and I'm going to guess that looks to me to be about the x value is negative three. And indeed, it's negative 3.24. Negative 3.24. Comma, it's negative 7.71. Okay. So to get full credit on this, what we'd like you to see is the line is labeled and the curve is labeled, which we have to do still. Ooh, we forgot that. Okay, our curve is y equals negative x minus, minus three. 3, x plus 2. Yeah. And so we got our curve labeled, our line labeled, and our points of intersection labeled. And it's a reasonable sketch to what is shown. All right. That's good. All right.